So we have the Dobot M1, and the M1 can pick and place like crazy. We uh, had a student write a program that will do a pick and place three times using Dobot Studio 1.45. And in Studio, it's really kind of neat. You can go in and you can record points, and when you record points, you can edit the X, Y, Z values, the roll values, um, and turn the, the, the vacuum gripper on and off. You can even choose different end effectors. So Vincent's going to run the program for us, and you can watch what it does. So it's really kind of easy to program a point, you press this button, move it to where you want, then let go of the button, and that position shows up where the black line is in the program, with the X, Y, Z, and R values all there, and suction cup off. You can then copy and paste that in the program. You can move it around, there are copy and paste commands, there are move up commands, move down commands, and you can put that line in the program anywhere you want. If you click on the Z value, you can change that Z value to a different number if you want, like say 50, um, as long as it's within the work envelope, the, the point will then now be saved uh, with that Z value and it will go to that point every single time. So basically what was done was using this button to go around to all the points, rename all the points in the software uh, under the second where it says name, you can go name all the points and after all the points were named all the Z values were put in and it was actually taught the positions for two of those blocks. One block was a simple pick and place, the center one, and then the two side ones were done mathematically knowing that each one of these was 35 millimeters apart and 35 millimeters this way. It was very easy to do the math and then just add a point up here using that command and then going down and then typing in all the values.